For such a small, unassuming snail, the bladder snail brings out a lot of passionate discussion and arguments for and against the aquarist hobby. Are they good to have in a tank? Bad? A pest to be eliminated? Keep watching. Behavior. Bladder snails are hermaphroditic, which makes them prolific reproducers. Not only that, but they're able to thrive in very poor water conditions, including polluted waters, which have allowed them to spread in the wild where others would perish or not attempt to inhabit. These snails don't possess an operculum to retreat and hide when feeling threatened or pursued by a predator. Instead, they must wiggle their shells quite quickly side to side, almost like a quick shaking motion as a deterrent. These guys are rapid gliders and can move surprisingly swiftly in tanks. They're also capable of rising to the water surface or waterline and turning upside down to breathe air and respirate. If danger is present when they surface and become more vulnerable, they're able to release all the inhaled air and sink rapidly to the tank or water body floor. Bladder snails live on average for about a year, but can reach two years. Appearance. Bladder snails are often confused with pond snails, and we'll break down how to tell that difference shortly. They're one of the only snails with a shell that spirals to the left. Almost every other snail, if not all, spiral to the right. They have a hard, slightly translucent shell that's yellowy brown and has lighter golden spots on top. They have long, slim, filament-type antennae, and their body color is a mixture of black, gray, and purple shades. They grow to about a half inch in size. Tank conditions. They aren't fussy about tank conditions, is the first point to make. Whatever you throw at them, they should be able to endure. But this video isn't about testing a species' limits. They prefer lower temperature ranges for better reproductive rates, but will mature more slowly in those conditions. Calcium is a key component of their shells, so you need to supplement the tank with calcium building blocks if yours is low on this element. Eggshells or cuttlefish bones are a good idea to add into the tank, which will help them consume some as they clean. If you start seeing lots of these snails in your tank, it's usually indicative indicative of poor water quality because of too many algae feeding them. This is usually indicative of overfeeding your fish, which allows them to produce far too much waste. Excess waste will encourage your snails to populate the tank even further. Monitor your population of snails and, if necessary, reduce them. Water changes will need to be done each week with at least 30% per change. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.